Well, good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday on a beautiful late April uh, spring day. Uh, we continue, of course, the great 50-day season of Easter celebration, and uh, as we do so, we have a happy kind of a challenge that we continue to ask your help and support with. Bit by bit, we'll be continuing to see a few more folks joining us for uh, weekend worship live in person here in the church, which is terrific. And we encourage anyone, everyone that feels perhaps a bit more comfortable to do so to please uh, come along. Uh, we continue to maintain our distancing and other uh, practices of safety with regard to the virus, but we also do need everybody to help keep those distances apart from individuals or from family or household groups. So uh, when you arrive at church, if you happen to be uh, seated at the end of a pew and no one's next to you, uh, do consider uh, sliding on over and allowing a little room for another group to join. Um, we have not yet reached our maximum of occupancy capacity, but we're starting to get a little closer. And so we really wanna be careful about maintaining our six feet of distance uh, as we come around what we pray is the final stretch of our dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. So uh, thanks in advance for your continuing help in our weekend worship efforts in these days of the coronavirus. Uh, second thing we'd like to draw your attention to is just a couple of weeks from now, on Saturday, May 22, we'll be having our annual outreach day, and we still would love to have some volunteers to be willing to share three to four hours to help provide uh, needed repairs and basic uh, upgrades and maintenance for uh, households and uh, facilities here in our Hagerstown area. So please do reach out to our parish office and let us know if you and your household would be willing to share just three to four hours on Saturday, May 22, to reach out in Christ-like love and service to those who have needs, practical needs, here in our own neighborhood. Also, speaking about reaching out, we're really thankful for your uh, willingness to reach out and to share a bit of your treasure in support of the annual appeal for Catholic ministries. Uh, as you know, our participation in the appeal provides much needed financial support for a wide variety of wonderful ministries that our archdiocese makes available and it touches the lives of many, many people, including the ministry of our vocation office, which, as you know, has a very personal and direct connection for us these days as our own parishioner, Joey Wolfensberger, is participating in the beginning of his process of formation to please God one day serve the church in priestly ministry. The vocation help is, helps Joey and his fellow seminarians to do what they need to do to one day serve us. And so our participation in the appeal uh, goes to help that much needed uh, effort. So at this point, we're really happy to report that we are 72% toward our parish goal. That's great. And we also, that represents the participation of 24% of our entire parish household. So if several more, a number of more households would just be able to share even a very modest gift, the little bits add up and make a real difference. And we hope that we might be able to meet or exceed uh, our goal in this year's annual appeal for Catholic ministries. And finally, as springtime is very much upon us, the conclusion of another year of faith formation is drawing near. This weekend will be our closing session for our family formation ministries, and our director of faith formation, Amy Rohan, has a brief word to share about that. Hi, everybody. Yes, as Monsignor said, um, this Sunday, May 2nd, um, we are going to conclude with our whole year. Um, it's been a long year, a good year, and uh, we're looking forward to kind of celebrating uh, with everybody gathering. What we're going to do is we're going to start at 4 o'clock with our Family Formation Mass, and then we're going to roll outside and have um, break, some breakout sessions, short breakout sessions, and then have a big cookout. Um, and games and music, which will be really fun. And then we'll conclude the year as we started the year in prayer. And so we're gonna um, conclude with the living rosary out on the south um, lot there. So everything is uh, COVID friendly. We'll be outside, um, we'll be distanced, um, but it's just a really nice opportunity. You know, we haven't been able to, to gather together 
all year um, as a big faith formation family. So we're really looking forward to this. Now what we're asking is that you, we had sent out um, in Flocknote a sign up. Um, so we will actually be sending it again as kind of a prod. We've gotten some sign ups already, but please be sure to sign up so we know, you know, we'll be providing the food. So, you know, so we know how many are coming. We also have a really neat opportunity. Um, I'm holding these tickets because, you know, as our families who have, you know, participated and, you know, come to the sessions and have been turning in homeworks and things, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give a raffle, we're gonna have a raffle. And um, for every homework that's turned in, you get a ticket, you know, every time that you've, you know, attended, you get a ticket. And, um, and so, you know, we'll be giving away a family fun pack um, worth about $50, one of them, and one is, is worth $25. And I think it's just, you'll really enjoy it. So um, what I would recommend is that, I, you know, I've spoken with a few families who have said, oh, you know, I have those pictures, I just haven't turned them in yet. Turn in your pictures, because the more pictures you turn in, the more tickets you get, the more opportunity you would have to, to win this fun, family fun pack. So um, please come out. We are really excited uh, with, with, this, with this day. We've been spending some time planning and we would just love to see everybody out. And there's two really good things about the raffle experience. One of them is I will not be participating, so your chances of winning are that much greater. <laughs> and secondly, even if I was participating, I never win these things anyway. So your chances of winning are greater still. So we look forward to everybody joining with us to happily and joyfully uh, celebrate what God has been doing in our parish families throughout this year of faith formation. Even in the midst of the, challenging of the challenges of the virus, God has been very much at work within and among us. And for that, we're very happy and we're very grateful. We hope that we are part of our gathering this Sunday. Finally, speaking of family formation, please uh, take a look at this brief uh, word of witness from one of our own family members who has uh, some words to share about their experience of participating in family formation, uh, our very own Kim Graves. And in the meantime, we do hope that you'll continue to stay safe, be well, and God bless you. Hi, I'm Kim Graves. I'm a parishioner here at St. Anne's, and our family is involved with the faith formation, family formation here at St. Anne's. Um, we really enjoy that because we can do it on our own time all together as a family whenever it fits into our schedule. And part of family formation and faith formation is getting out into the community and helping support the community that supports us. So last year we were involved as a family in the outreach day where we were able to go to a couple's house that was housebound and they were unable to get out and do the yard work for the summer. So. When we got there, we weren't sure how it was gonna work with you know, kids of all ages. We had elementary school, middle school, and high school. And it was perfect because when we got there, um, we weeded some of the flower gardens outside. Um, we were able to move the old mulch, put new mulch down. Um, we cleared off the porch and the walkway, and then my husband was able to power wash it and power wash the sidewalk and the side of the house. Um, so it looked really great and we did some other general yard work like trimming up some of the bushes and getting some of the, the older dying plants out from the winter. So it felt really good to be able to give back to the community and help those that support us. So I'd really recommend to get out and try it again this year. Uh, it's coming up soon. So for the outreach day, give it a try, get out, get in, jump right in and help out with our community.